Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Right off the bat on today's show, more teaser art from the folks over at McLaren. What the speed tail's only been with us for a couple, three weeks. And now all of a sudden we've got a new version of the McLaren. It's going to be coming out just in a handful of days. On December 8th of 2018, the unveiling of the brand new 720S something. A lot of people in the know are really pointing towards this is going to be the spider version or the drop top version of this machine, but it could be something altogether different as well. So we'll definitely keep you in tune with what we hear. And obviously only a couple of weeks away is December 8th. Next up on the list, Lamborghini is going to race Urises? You heard me right. Yes, the folks over at Lamborghini Squadra Corsa is putting together a one-make series for the Lamborghini Urus that's going to be contested in the year 2020 in several different venues inside of Europe and inside of the Middle East. Now, there is some rumors that the first event's going to take place just outside of Rome, possibly, at a well, dirt slash tarmac style circuit. Just think of this as kind of rally cross for an SUV. Now, no word yet of who's going to be driving these or what maybe is some sponsorship packages you're going to be seeing on some of these machines as they make this particular trip. There's also some rumors, too, the Lamborghini could be putting together another one-make series, possibly for the Huracan. We'll have to wait and see on that front as well, but we'll definitely keep you tuned of what we hear. And last up on the list, some weirdness going on around Carlos Ghosn. Over the past several days, Mr. Ghosn and a fellow by the name of Greg Kelly, who's on the board of directors for Nissan, the pair of them were unceremoniously fired and arrested by the Japanese government. Basically, Japanese officials are charging these two men with underreporting their take-home pay, if you will. Now, this has been kind of somewhat of a weird situation, and stuff like this has happened before, but boy, getting fired over the deal, it seems a little bit rash. The real weird thing is, is now with him officially fired, he's no longer CEO of Nissan, but he still is CEO over Renault and over Mitsubishi, which was Renault Nissan's little, well, acquisition over the past several weeks and months. Now, Here's the trick moving forward. Is the alliance broken? Is this something that's going to be directly affected in this situation? Where basically they may get another CEO? Is Nissan going to branch off together? And Renault and Mitsubishi going to head off into the sunset together? This is some interesting times moving in with this particular deal. So we'll definitely keep you in tune of what happens over the next several weeks. But I'm assuming how fast this whole firing slash arresting happened. We may know something by next week. So we'll definitely keep you in tune of what we hear. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. The first dibs in the brand new show as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.